Are you currently in grade 12? Are you considering an undergraduate degree but unsure of your future career prospect? Well, why not secure your future with a skill skill? Did you know there's a global shortage of engineers, engineering technologists and built environment professionals? In 2017, the Faculty of Engineering and the Built Environment at the University of Johannesburg will offer a new three-year BH Tech degree and a bachelor's degree in construction management, urban regional planning and mine surveying. The following insert will provide more insight into the field of construction and quantity surveying. Um, the construction manager is normally one that is employed by a contracting fraternity um, and they would normally, their, their function would normally be to um, manage the day-to-day -day activities on the construction site um, and that's where they will get some of the, most of the experience, um, ordering of materials, you know. and there's a site clock who will normally deal with the invoices and so on and the delivery notes but materials is important, you know, you cannot construct without materials, so you need materials, ordering of materials, ensuring that the project is on time, it's running according to schedule. Um, and there are many other options for a, for a construction management. You can move, move into top management into an organization with experience and, you know, with um, um, the qualifications. You can move into the high echelons of the, of the contracting organization. A construction manager and a project manager can also become registered professionals through the candidacy process, coming um, registering with the Council of, Quantity, uh, Council of Construction Project Management as a candidate construction manager or candidate construction project manager, and you can follow that to become a full professional PRC and PRCMP. On the other hand, a quantity surveyor um, um, is more of an office bound if you are a registered professional. Quantifiers can work for contractors and they can also work in the private sector as a consultant. Um, um, as a consultant, you will register as a, as a candidate, follow the same process as a uh, construction manager. You, may, you, you actually register as a consultant um, as a, in the candidacy PR, or what they call a candidate quantifier, and become a PR QS, a professional quantifier. And you can go into consultancy, open up your own private practice, um, and act on behalf of consultants. And what they will do is, is they will be involved in many aspects of the project, the finance, the costs, um, cash flows, um, bills of quantities, uh, that is the, th the area that the, the QS will involve. The QS can also work for a contractor, a contracting environment. You don't have to be a registered professional and you can work as a contract surveyor. Where you do final accounts, you do measurements, payment certificates, evaluations, etc. and so on. Generally, construction is seen to be a male-dominated industry. Um, but over the years we have seemed to attract um, lots of females um, compliant with gender equity. Um, our programs have attracted many females over the last, over the last five years. And for quant survey you've got to show, an, you've got to be numerate, you've got to show an aptitude for numbers um, because you do bills of quantities, you work with figures, you work with cost. Um, a project man construction project manager, communication is important, you need to communicate, therefore hence the English, you need to communicate. Um, of course, and you also people skills, the soft skills, the managing human relations skills, you need all that which is taught in management and the functions of a manager to plan, lead, organize, control. Um, we would like to encourage learners at secondary level to take up STEM subjects such as maths and physics in order to apply for our programs. Application for a bachelor's degree in construction requires a minimum APS of 30, 5 for English, 5 for Mathematics and 5 for Physical Sciences. Applications to the Faculty of Engineering and the Bolt Environment close on the 30th of September. Apply via www.uj.ac.za apply.